All right. We may be streaming live. I hope so. Let's see here. Let's check it hey. out here. All right. Okay. Is it working? Stream yeah. health. We are live. Hello. <laughs> uh, sorry for being a few minutes late. We actually started, but we weren't on the correct <laughs> stream key. And we were speaking away happily. We, we were, were happily speaking away. And we said some good stuff. It was really great. It's too bad you missed it. So, so we have a live feed going. Um, by the way, did you see the email from DJ Henke? I did. I did. Dude! NKS patches for every um, unified patch. All 400 of them. God bless All him. All 400 <laughs> are NKS files. So that will be coming. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Amazing. Great. So thank you for that, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, good morning. Off we go. Everybody's saying good morning already. Good morning, so, everyone. Sorry for being a little... We were actually early. <laughs> But the key that it streamed on was not the key that it was going, it, they changed during the night because we tried this last night and it worked. But thank you so much. I'm John Lemcool. I'm Shane Dunn. And I'm uh, Adam Wave. And there you go. So this is the first time the three of us have been together in a freaking room together. Yeah. Hands together, <laughs> man. <laughs> so cool. So cool. Um, so thank you for watching. And for those of you that have bought Unify, we thank you so much. It's so awesome to come to the NAM show with a purpose <laughs> instead yeah. of just to like, you know, this is what, is this your second show, right? Yeah, my second one, yeah. And this is your first show. First time ever. And, and we met like uh, Thursday night. Yeah. First time. For the first we time. We met in person. We've been ever. working for a year and a half. A year and a half working together over the internet. <laughs> never seen each other. Never been in the same room. Amazing. Yeah. And he met me at the door and gave me a big hug and said, we did it. We did it. <laughs> yes. I mean, we've talked for probably five months, probably an average of 90 minutes a day, going over things, talking ideas, sharing, I mean, and talking quite a bit even before that, during early development. Oh, yeah. As it ramped up, it was to multiple times a day. Yeah. So I paused this. So let's see what everybody's saying. Hello, so, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Sun Sunriser, thank you so much for that. If you guys have questions, uh, Airwaves, the DJ, if you have questions on the DJ side of things, yeah, change the programmer, if you have a geeky program question, <laughs> don't ask it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask it, he'll never <clears throat> stop talking. <laughs> yeah, but if you're here at the Anaheim, if you're going to come to the NAMM show, we are honored to be at the Ilio booth. Ilio is our worldwide exclusive dealer distributor. That means they're going to help us get into music stores. Um, get into situations that we as an internet company can't get into. Mm -hmm. um, they will be selling Unify on their website and supporting us. And it's, it's a dream team relationship. It is. It's really good. And um, when I got to the booth and I saw the company that we're keeping there, it's really quite amazing. I mean, we're in the same booth as Spectrosonics. And, and uh, Synthogy. Synthogy and Gig Performer and... AAS. Uh, yeah. And, uh, which is in your neighborhood. Right? That's right. So actually I'm going to be going to visit over the at, folks yeah. from AAS. And, uh, yeah. Soon. yeah. I yeah. have an invitation from the president. So yeah. So, I mean, being close neighbors helps start really nice relationships with companies. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. much. And Overloud, you were right. Overloud's yeah. there. Overloud was yeah. <clears throat> behind the corner for us. And, uh, What's the name of that new granular center? Engine company. I right don't behind. remember. <laughs> yeah. Delta Studios. Uh, is it Delta Studios? Yeah. That's, Delta, that's Delta Studios, yeah, but I yeah. don't remember the name of yeah. the product. So, know. right on the other side of our little kiosk where we are showing our uh, software is another piece of software that's a granular synth engine that's just crazy, crazy cool. Yeah, they've sort of done it as a granular effect, like a granular right. like, reverb slash play kind of thing. So, right, but I hit them a little harder, yeah. and it is actually playable, transposable, it's polyphonic. Uh, you can play it as a synth. Very good. Which uh, we now have earned enough that we can talk to people about licensing. So that's one potential situation we've been talking a little bit about. So nothing official to announce. Um, one thing we are showing is Morgan. More than organ. More than organ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know about Unify, and then we'll talk about Morgan and other stuff, but Unify is our plugin. Um, I call it the Doggy Parker plugins because it lets you load all of your plugins, uh, MIDI effects, audio uh, effects, and instruments, load them up, and actually let them play together. Um, no matter what company they were part of, 
Right. They work. That's what's really nice is other companies have done similar things like this, but they keep it to their universe of their plugins. Right? Either that or they come sort of empty, as an empty box, and then you get the thing and immediately you have a lot of work to do. Whereas right. Yeah. This right. one comes with 400 awesome Skippy patches right out of the... And airway. And, 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 and shade. Yeah. You, you've days. got credit in there too, Oh brother. my gosh. And, uh, <laughs> don't play those. <laughs> you know, what, what I like the most about Unify is the way it uh, puts the, the composer or the, the artist back into the conductor's, conductor's chair. Yes. Unlike anything else on the market. It, not even, you know, the likes of Able to Live or logic or anything else yeah. you can do this you yeah. know you're back at the with the control at your fingertips you know all your plugins virtual instruments you can, mm -hmm. you can I have this right in my back yeah. of my head <laughs> <laughs> like it keeps seeing this like this little thing <laughs> sprouting from the top of your head so but you're right. really uh, it's really important uh, for an artist to feel like uh, you know at the command of yeah you know you're creating um, music right so you want to be creative with your sounds and uh yeah, Unify is really is really cool because in, in just one instance you can just create a, a, an entire track yeah. and just move on to the next one. So I'm uh, sitting here in the chair of the, the media composer or the film composer and you can use your favorite virtual instruments and effects in a single unified, well, Yes, there's that there word you go. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a good, it's a good word to describe it. Yeah, um, worked out nice. And um, and you just write your cue or your your two minute cue, yeah, or something piece of music, and you just move on. Yeah, it's as simple as that. You don't have to look back, and you can save every single template, which is also uh, which makes Unify also a good tool for live performers. Yeah, uh, electronic musician who wants. To who want to perform live, you know, there, there will be an explosion of live performance in, inside the electronic music scene. Yeah. Because uh, the way I see it, uh, the DJ market is, is getting quite sterile at present time. So people will definitely move on. It's, it's already the case with uh, the big names, such as Richie Hopkins, you know, and right. uh, Jeff Mills, that they all move right. you know, to the live market. And uh, I think this is Unify could be uh, could be your, your tool of choice yeah. for for these. Uh, Sunrider says, "Great to use in conjunction with your hardware sense." That's right. It it we actually we're a week and a half, almost two weeks old. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of places we want to take Unify to make it more filled out. We, we've kind of like got the outline of live. We've got the outline of other. Uh, ways of using Unify that are there, but you know, live use, working with hardware and having Unify integrated into that is definitely something we are interested in further realizing and fleshing out. Right, right. Well, one of the things that we've done is taking <clears throat> a kind of minimalist approach, mm -hmm. and uh, I've seen other s systems that are, you know, clearly the it's like the programmer had too much influence on it. Mm -hmm. So you, I, I, I see things in them that I recognize and say, oh, I, that looks like something interesting that I could do as a programmer, but I know that musicians wouldn't care. Yeah. So I have looked to you from the beginning yeah. to guide the whole thing in a minimal way yeah. and don't throw in features just because I think I want them or you, right. you know, whatever, or, or for parrot, worse yeah. for parity with other uh, products, yeah. but instead to just break it down to the absolute minimum. Who is the person we're trying to reach? What are they trying to do? Right. And what's the minimum thing that they require that's yeah. maybe different that they can't get somewhere else? Yeah, we, we have Unify very focused. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, if it's not, I, if you look at it and it looks like an airplane cockpit and you can't understand what's going on, uh, there's so many plugins that work that way. And I think that's because they didn't have someone that actually would use it. Mm. Um, talking to the engineer people and saying, Okay, I look at that and I'm immediately frozen like headlamps. <laughs> it's yeah. like, ah, and where do you go from there, right? Yeah, I remember those two guys you were talking to, yeah. Then um, one of the things <clears throat> that's really great about this show for me is I'm getting a chance to meet people who are making music yeah. in all kinds of different genres that I know nothing about. Yeah. And I had a very interesting yeah. conversation last night right. learning a little bit more about how music is made for film and actually continued it with Airway this morning. And uh, yeah, it's a huge eye-opener. Yeah, uh, learning about the the, the church makers, market, learning yeah, about the church market. music, like it's just yeah. there are so many things that people are trying to do. Oh, we have a red light for our screen now. Oh no, who's that? <clears throat> it's Shane's talking too much. I think so. <laughs> you know, there's a number of other people. We're, we're watching the stream, and uh, I I pause 
good here, excuse me, but I'm also watching the stream here, so. Yeah. Uh, we'll just, it, it, sorry if the stream gets a little funky. We're on a house Wi-Fi system here, and um, we're not cabled in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but, but we'll just keep talking and assume that we're able to work, and we'll see what happens. Um, so one thing that I thought was interesting at this show is, and we've talked about this, is how great it is that all these people from all styles of music, all genres, all cultures, just come together and enjoy music, walk around together, and talk from, and laugh. And from all sides of the business, I mean, you can be like quite famous in the business and just come to the to the kiosk, you know, to right. the booth. Yeah. And uh, I got the chance to meet several people yesterday at the booth itself, just like Tim Exile was there, yeah. remember? Yeah. And uh, then I got the, the chance to meet a uh, DJ and producer from France, uh, Joaquin Gao. If you know him, he used to, to be the guy uh, behind uh, David Guetta's biggest hits in the early 2000s. And the guy was just like, hey, it's me. And then uh, I, I got to meet so many other people, Yeah. you know, that I, that I, who I, who I admire for their videos on, on YouTube and everything. So uh, this is really the place to be. And um, and that is such a great opportunity for, for people like us, you know, yeah. just to attend there. Uh, yeah, and now uh, imagine with the, with the projects such as Unify, how many how many heads are turning right now? It's yeah. uh, it's really it's exciting. Many, it yeah. is certainly. Yeah. Um. So, I don't know how far back we are latency wise. Oh, there's Silver Sulu. So he was at the booth. So we got to say hi to him. Yes. Hey. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you for pushing the like button. Make sure you push the subscribe button. <laughs> All the usual things on the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. Big um, E came by. <clears throat> Big E from him. Portland was down here in the area. So I that was really knew cool. why they call him Big E. He's a big guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jason says, um, an American, a Belgian, and a Canadian walk into NAM. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jason, by the way. And yes, yes. we all have a Barry White uh, voice. That's, that's the effect of NAM. That's a side effect of Yeah, Barry White. After yeah. just one... One day you cannot talk anymore yeah. and you have to talk yeah. this way. Because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so we also showed Morgan, which is a concept mm -hmm. that we plan to probably bring out in around three months, maybe four months from now. We want to flush it out and work it out some more. But it's a really cool idea where we have a draw bar organ as an instrument on one layer. And then the percussion of a B3 works in a unique way where it's actually a mechanical <laughs> And then once there's notes down, it doesn't reset. So we actually program that as a uh, chain program that as a MIDI effect. It's a MIDI effect, so you can have your more organ perk type of sound be any instrument you want. Yeah. I didn't want to create yet another B3 emulator because there's some very good ones on the market. Yeah. And also because you're never going to satisfy B3 owners. Yeah. Or people who want to be B3 owners, but I would instead like to create an instrument that. A B3 owner would like to have in addition to to his hammer, yeah. his or her hammer. Yeah, and it's kind it's, of a sound design approach. For it's more like a sound design approach. Like it's you know, um, Omnisphere they have Keyscape and they have Keyscape Creative. Right. This is like Hammond Creative. Yes, it is. Take the basic concept and kind of go yeah. crazy with it. Yeah. And uh, so uh, we are happy to show that if you come by and say Morgan. <laughs> We'll have a short video up to show you how that works at some point here. Hey, I see Sunriser. Hello. Well, Anaheim says hi to Belgium, by the way. Yeah. And um, um, I see gets... that our friend Bo from Sweden, who makes these great videos. Bo Beats. Hey. hey. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, I definitely see you at uh, <clears throat> Super Boot because I'm attending. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it looks uh, like I'm going to go too. So. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> when is that? Uh, in in the March. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. End of March? Yeah. Or is it end of April? I don't, I don't remember. No, end of March. I checked. Oh, right. It's it like the 24th, something like that. Next time in Germany? Yeah. So it's, um, let's see, we've got about, probably about 30 minutes to hang out if you want to talk. If you have questions, um, pop them up. <laughs> Tim Dillon <Dillard> says, <laughs> Hammonds! <laughs> Hammonds, yes. How does one take part as a developer of NAM? Well, you can't develop NAM. <laughs> it's too big. Yeah. But to be a developer, just um, there's different uh, forums and groups 
Yeah, I went to the uh, plugin developers dinner yesterday. Yeah, that was quite eye opening. That's where I learned a lot about film uh, market. Yeah, there are and like fifty other developers there, right? The, yeah, like a, it's amazing because for the size of Nam, the number of people in that room was actually not that large. Yeah, and, uh, this is what I like so much about Nam. You know, it, it really makes the junction between the top of the bill and uh, the people who are just. Yeah. Beginning, starting from yeah, scratch yeah. in their in their careers. Mm -hmm. Go audio so, kids. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Go audio kids. Those audio yeah. kids. They were the <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Ari Prohaska from Audio Kit was there, yeah. uh, and uh, several other people. And uh, I was telling the story about how the the sampler that I wrote originally back when we first started working together. Yeah. I got a little. We we decided to make a switch to desktop, and I was a little bit despondent at that point, so I gave the sampler to Audio Kit. Yeah. It's now being used by about 140,000 people in two different apps. Uh, and Digital D1, right? Well. Digital D1 is one, but the big one is FM Player 2. As soon as we went from FM Player, which is a free app, uh, and used their old sampler to FM Player 2, which used the new sampler, uh, Matt Fletcher called and said, by the way, your, your sampler just went out to over 100,000 people. Wow. My first thought, of course, was, oh, God, I hope it holds together. <laughs> but no, it's been fine. So yeah. So that sampler had been then revved several more more uh, right. turns of the wheel and is now... We want this. We want this. We want this. Sampler, we want yes. this. Random sample stars. We want... Yeah, there's a lot in there that isn't in the... Isn't in the <laughs> kit one. <laughs> So we, we get a few questions here. Will you be adding more built-in instruments to Unify? Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Morgan being one. <laughs> Morgan is one we can talk about now, but there's definitely other places we want to go. Um, we're all fans of new sounds, new ways of making sounds. And so we're yeah, Unify sounds. will 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 become the the like the, the core right. of your of your of brand new libraries that using actually your existing plugins yeah. and virtual instruments. Yeah. And I will make sure that I, I actually I have something in the works right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For a Unify and right. a, a very famous right. synthesizer. Right. Right. You guys all a very own. famous synthesizer. Yeah. Shall not be named. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a serum out there you can take for it though. Right? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Make it healthier, yes. <laughs> but the so, idea of being Unify is gonna be this place. Uh, so the concept of Unify, for those of you that are new to and not familiar with it, you, there's videos and there's a video owner's manual at YouTube you can watch when you have time. Um, but the concept is pretty simple in that it's able to load different plugins, MIDI instruments, or MIDI, MIDI effects, sorry, audio effects and instruments. Um, and it works as a VST, VST3, audio unit, and standalone. So a lot of people are writing about how they love to just play it without even turning on their DAW. Just call up and just play it like it's an instrument. Yeah. So our first goal was to make it an instrument. So I reached out, Shane reached out, we've talked to a number of developers that make free, really nice instruments that a lot of people have forgotten about. Right. DX, OBXD, PG8X, and uh, Dick Digits. Digits. Yeah. So we have like three different forms of synthesis with those that we put into a little sidecar VST folder in our data folder. So when you install Unify, they are there automatically. Yeah. They just are there. Then you combine that with the sampler and two and a half gigabytes of samples that Airwave and myself, you put some, some of your drum sounds are in there. So. Yeah, well, thanks to you, first of all. <laughs> and, um, and that gives us this, yeah. this basic core. So there's 400 patches that use this basic core that are go from simple to absolutely insane. Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> it can do it. So it's, it's like, fault. <laughs> it's his fault. It's he my has, fault. He has things that have like five MIDI effects of the blue arc, which we were given permission to include, playing different elements of 11 different layers of instruments with four auxiliary buses. Oh, yeah, it really took it to its limit. Took it to some, I mean, that's, that's stretched as far as it can go. So what's, what's fun is to then add your plugins to all these 400 patches and just say, oh, here's a cool guitar sound. What if I put my zebra with it? Yeah. Or what if I put yeah. something like that? And people are just going. Yeah, exactly. I, I, saw, I saw so many jars just dropping on yes. the floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and the other thing that I like was, that, you know, you'd be giving a demonstration and then showing something, talk, 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 and the faces be kind of blank. And yeah, yeah, they're like trying to, I don't get it, I don't get it. You hit a chord, 
and the faces <laughs> would just light a big smile or they'd start right. laughing. Right. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, they, it's, I call it the doggy park for a plug in. Yeah, yeah. Because when you get that concept, it, it hits it. so hard. Yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah. it hits home. Yeah. yeah. Because we all own so many plugins, right? We have hundreds of plugins. I had a guy just up here say he had 914 plugins on his PC working without hardly any issues. Oh, so, we have some plugins that we have issues with. We're going to be working to clean that up. But the thing is, this lets you take those 914 plugins, organize them so they're seen different ways, and then use them <laughs> together. So, uh, it'll be very cool in the future if Unify will have possibility to record audio or drag and drop sample ability. Yes, and yes, yes. absolutely. Shadows. Yeah, we, we, we agree. We, spare, oh, we, we hear this. We are, we're hearing this from more than more than just you. Um, so someone says, I want both the hydrosynth and the wave state. I haven't seen the hydrosynth, but you and I know the wave state pretty well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, got, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we got, uh, John and I got the chance to, um, to develop uh, some of the, f the factory performances that you can hear on the uh, Korg wave state that yeah. has been released last week. And um, actually, demand uh, went above the expectations from Korg themselves. Yeah, they're uh, Which how puts everyone into back order until September, I think. Yeah, it's something like, like that. Yeah, it's just months crazy. and months and months there. So. And, and actually, I, I posted a, a picture of, uh, of uh, the, the, the screen, the welcome screen uh, with the about uh, thing, the, the, about, the about page of the way stage uh, featuring our respective names yeah. uh, John and Wave. And uh, it's just sorry we didn't call you for that. Sorry, one. no, I, I I wasn't involved in that. No, sorry, Shane. But <laughs> and um, it was just you know the first the, the, my very first time with a hardware synthesizer. So uh, I, when I got to test it out, you know the final product, I, I really got a, a tear in my eye. Seriously. Oh, yeah. good. That's yeah. wonderful. That's All good. that's so humbling to have a, a team of uh, yeah. very enthusiastic people work with your uh, with with your part of the history with, now. Yeah, you know? it's, it's it's a cool thing. But some yeah. of those samples. Yes. Are. So <laughs> when I, I, I worked on the original wave station like 28 years ago or 26 years ago. I can't remember how far back it was that we raised it. It was early 19 or 2000, like, yeah, 1990, 1993. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, it's, it's like, 30 years ago. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> whoo. Um, but I worked on the original wave station. I have drum samples in the original wave station as well as other samples that I created in the wave station. And they came back and asked John Bowen. Um, Peter Schwartz, um, who else was at the dinner? Um, myself. Jack <laughs> uh, and was well, Jack Hotel was part of the original team. He was on other projects, so he wasn't able to be a part of Wave State. Um, but they invited the original people that worked on the Wave Station for the most part to come back and work on Wave State. And they wanted to add new content to it. And so I sent them all the libraries that I've done for Omnisphere, and they picked out a whole bunch of samples from the plugin guru sample catalog and put them in wave state and a lot of those same samples in wave state are in unify so it's pretty cool coming to the show having your samples in both a new software synthesizer that has your dna in it and a new synthesizer from one of the major players that's got a lot of people are excited that has your dna in it so it was it's pretty cool it's yeah. just fantastic it's really, it's really cool yeah so what people are saying what time is it where you are <laughs> Uh, oh, he's talking to Coxa. Coxa, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, John Bowen is a legend. He's here with his Solaris, and he's got a little tabletop version of the Solaris. So that's really cool. So if you want a hardware synth with unique personality, go to John Bowen Synthesizer. Yeah. Search it on really, Google. It's yeah. really worth the price of Solaris. I, I could see it, uh, I think it was, was Thursday. It's real a legendary synthesizer, I, and I know that many people are looking into it. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's expensive, but it's really worth this price. Yeah. Because there, there was a lot of, um, of good input in there. there a lot of uh, really yeah. good, uh, pa what passion and effort put into this the synthesizer. So yeah. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Hey, real quickly, just can you guys pop up? Is the stream going okay? Yeah, please. Because we have a, a red light for the stream health. And so if it's not going okay, can you just let us know if it's stuttery? I haven't seen any comments that it's stuttery or bad or anything, so I'm hoping that those people can't, they can't even type in. <laughs> no, right? They're locked out. But we, we say like, um, we say something and, oh, running well. Yeah, okay. Running well. It's fine. Oh, good. <clears throat> Thank God. <laughs> Yay. 
Oh, <laughs> it went green for a <laughs> Why you guys said it was running good? The little light went to green for a second, so that's pretty funny. You, you have to cheer it, and it'll feel better. Stream is okay in Germany. Oh, good. All Yay. Right. Right. What about a custom MIDI controller for Unify? Mmm. Ooh. That is... We've never talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got a ways to go. There's all sorts of stuff that is possible, yeah. you know. Um, go ahead. Yeah, but... Uh, Seriously, I, I was amazed by the uh, by the uh, ease of use, you know, with any single keyboard on the market. Yes. I mean, I own a, a complete control uh, controller, and it works like right out of the box within within just thirty seconds. And we did the, we had the same experience on yeah. the, at the booth because we it's we an Arturia keyboard, keyboard. Yeah, very just nice. like yeah, thirty seconds and yeah. Uh, yeah. you don't have to to worry too much about how compatible your keyboard will be because it. Unify works yeah. pretty much any controller on the market yeah. with or without a keyboard, by the way. You can use, for example, I, I'm, I'm sure we can use a Launchpad Pro or a Machine Jam or Bush. anything. Yeah. It works. One of the cool things that we did, um, we had a lot of discussions about this, but the real-time knobs, um, each one has a little bullet that you can click and say, learn MIDI and move a slider on your physical controller and it reroutes it immediately to work with whatever that slider is. And then it remembers that as you're going through all the patches. That's right. Yeah. Um, I had originally wanted it like, no, it needs to be saved per patch because you could, then, but then it gave We like, tried it. We yeah. tried it and, and then it, you didn't like it. So, yeah. You know, <laughs> sometimes, you just, sometimes you just have to try things. You come up with an idea. You think it sounds really good and you just try it and then yeah. you find out if it's good or not. Right. So but here it, it freezes it to that controller until you change it again. So. Yes. It's real nice that if you don't have something, then you can uh, do it. I, I see here Isa is uh, asking about Push 2. Yes, you can definitely use Unify with Push 2 uh, by using actually a, a, a rack mm. inside of an instrument rack inside of uh, Ableton Live, and you just instantiate um, okay. Unify in there and just you know put it all I'll together. But it works. Yeah. Definitely, it does. And, uh, but you can use, also use uh, the, the push to in a uh, user mode, but in the case of the push controller, as I know it pretty well, as I own one, uh, I, wouldn't, I, I, I would not recommend that. I, I would go for the uh, original, you know, Ableton route. Right. So, uh, right. so you know it. So someone says, dreaming, but would it be cool to load contact patches without loading contact? Possible? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, there's a contact player that you could use to load patches if you wanted to, that would be maybe more streamlined and efficient than Contact. Um, but Contact is a whole ecosystem into itself. Into itself and, and yeah. people are, I mean, it, it's marvelous. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and I, you can certainly load Contact into Unify yeah. as an instrument yeah. and multiple instances of it and so on. Yeah. And it does load up pretty fast. Yeah. Well, it depends um, on what you're loading. Depends on what you're loading. Because there's different ways of saving. Some companies save things where it preloads, so you can be playing it sooner. Mm -hmm. Other ones don't do that, and so you have to wait while it loads the whole thing before it plays. So it, it depends on some of it. Um, I use a really old Mac with KeyMac Pro that can spit out sample maps in the old Contact 4 format. Mm -hmm. And so those can be read by other things like EXS24 and so forth. But... If you're talking about the filters and the effects and stuff like that that are in a contact patch, that's exclusive to contact. Um, that's not something that we're going to be able to convert and like all of a sudden have it play our distortion and sound like contact. Well, on the other hand, I think that some develop some uh, uh, sound developers are going to be interested in Unify as potentially an alternative or a complement yes. to contact because contract is is wonderful, but it's expensive. It is. And not everybody can afford it. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, you have more and more of these sound packs that come out and, and say, must have the full version of Contact. The player isn't good because of the way they do their licensing and so on. And right. uh, yeah. the other thing is, you know, cross-platform to Mac to PC and so on. I think people are going to be quite interested in that. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think we quite agree on the fact that the, the, the technology behind Contact it's really cool. It's just the, the multiple GUIs between all the developers and everything. It's a bit like yeah, it's a bit of a wild, it's a bit of a wild west. Yeah, that's true. But uh, I mean, I love my contact instruments for sure. I have several of them. So do I. Yeah, so do I. But really, uh, we, we would love to to see uh, something like Contact Tech. Yeah. But actually, you could do something pretty similar yeah. into into Unify. Yeah. Right. 
So we have a couple of interesting questions here. Um, <clears throat> what is the statuette behind you on the shelf? <laughs> it's a face thing. Uh, we don't know. We have no idea what it is. Yeah, it's it's something it's, that came with the Airbnb. <laughs> it's a good luck charm. Maybe we'll put her down here to retire. So <laughs> it reminds me of the mask into a, a very old horror movie from the 80s. Or New Orleans Demons. or something like that. Uh, like yeah. go, or like yeah. Venice when you go to the thing. Um, someone was asking about... Um, uh, where was it? Clark Parker. What about the GSD format? Any plans to open it to the public so we can develop our own GSD patches? GSD is a format that we use when it's an encrypted protected library. So if you, we are going to open up and make it available for other companies to sell libraries that are protected with a license on Unify. That's definitely a direction we want to pursue because we can get more community, making more patches, making more libraries, but that's a protected type of a format, right? Well, this is, he's talking about the sample format. There is an there is another sample format, which <clears throat> is very simple. I have a document that describes it, and yes. just, just send Do you a, want me to note that to, public, or? Well, just, no, maybe not this minute, but okay. we'll, we'll, <laughs> it'll, it'll go out very soon. Yes. Um, so the short answer is yes, it's public. Yes. The thing, thing is that it's not right now the world's most user-friendly thing. What everybody would like is, the ability to just drag and drop your samples in and then quickly map them and so on. Yeah. That is coming, I promise. Yeah. It just wasn't something that I wanted to delay the release of Unify for. And uh, Unify Pro will have uh, all of those features. And uh, that's what we're working towards. But I, yes, I totally understand that a lot of you want to try using your own samples. Yeah. And the short answer is yes, absolutely you can. It's just yeah. not, not, not trivial. It's a text file. You type, you have a paste the name of the sample and a few parameters yeah. and then have it formatted a certain way. There is a text file that, that an example that we have available that um, we'll, we'll share yeah. here soon. A um, couple other people have tried it as a test. Uh, we're not going to do tech support. So if you were not able to understand basic SFZ map, kind of a concept, but kind of our own version of that and edit a text file and be willing to do trial and error to get it to work, then don't try it because it's not for somebody that's just... Well, that's right. It's not for the faint of heart, but it, it, I mean, really, it's not that complicated. You just have to edit a text file and make sure that, you know, don't leave out like a... Uh, a letter. A letter <laughs> or something like that. Or add a space. <laughs> and it, it won't work and it's not very friendly. It's going to come up and say, oh, you left out this letter. Yeah. You know, it's just, you have to... Computer's not very forgiving. You have to get it exactly right. But yeah, totally, absolutely, you could do it. One other question that came up I want to make sure not to uh, pass by is somebody said, is it possible to install Unify on more than one, one or more than two even computers? Your yes. license will do, it's good for three. Yes. And if, you know, if your circumstances are such that you need more, if one yeah. of your computers dies or something like that, you're right to skip it, he'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. We'll, we'll figure out what happened and figure out how to make it work yes. for you for sure. Uh, Charles, do you have any plans for creating libraries with more BPM and pads? Blitz, it's so cool and snappy playing live on this on a controller like the X key air over Bluetooth. Oh, cool. cool you. Yes, I mean, <laughs> I love BPM stuff. I've got Omnipulse 1, 2, and 3 for Omnisphere. So, big fan of Omnipulse. Airwave has a whole bunch of libraries on Omnisphere. By the way, Plug and Guru website until tomorrow night at midnight. All libraries are 40% off. Um, I don't have a banner up, but if you go clicking any of the libraries, uh, it will see, you'll see the revised, cool. you don't even have to put in a, in a key code to have a 40% off discount. Unify is $59. It will be uh, $59 until February 15th, at February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. $79, which is still it goes a up all great, 20 bucks. goes up a whole oh my 20 God. bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we will not put it on sale ever. Because I hate that feeling of coming back a year later and finding out it's $10. And it's like, I've spent really good money that I worked hard for, and now it's like free, and I don't like that. And so, yeah, so. Well, and the reason is because we want to keep working on this. This is what I am enjoying. It's what I want to do. It's what I've been working on full-time for a year. And it's what I'd like to continue to work on full-time all the time. And yeah. the only way we could do that is if we make a little bit of money anyway. Yes. It doesn't yes. have to be massive amounts. but Yeah. No, we're off to a very good start. Uh, hypothesis 13, is Unify getting the exposure you were hoping? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Getting, it's getting more than the exposure we were hoping. It's beyond expectations, it's, right? it's beyond expectations yeah. for us. I mean, 
you know, we're just two guys and someone in Belgium that loves to make patches. So three guys, of course, um, putting together some. <laughs> yeah. Um, and here we are at the NAMM show with one of the bigger distributors booths, sharing our baby with everybody and just watching faces light up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been really, really fun. Uh, he's asking also, are there reviews coming on uh, magazines? Yeah, for sure. For yes. sure. For sure. Yeah. There are already people talking about it. Yeah. I had a few, uh, I, I made a video with um, a French blog called uh, Les Sondiers. They will, by the way. And uh, they're really friendly and they will uh, def definitely cover this. And yeah. We have others. Sonic State Sonic posted State their State. video last yeah. night. Yes. It was really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gears, Gears Lads. Yeah, yeah. Gears Lads. Gears Lads. Yeah. Today at 10.30, Sound on Sound is coming by to uh, see the Ilio booth and spend okay. some time with us, hopefully. I, I see also Pablo Valenzuela, MKS for complete control in uniform. Yes. Um, in fact, we have one of the people in the stream, um, DJ Hinky. Uh, sent us last night all the unified patches as in AK NKS format so that we'd show up in a complete control. So we have to figure out how to batch those. And I gotta try that when I get home because I just bought a, a complete control. Yeah. Keyboard, so. so, yeah, we will have complete control integration. Do you want mine? No. Well, yeah, we can try, try it there too because we have the yeah. files here so we can load it up. I've got my F32 with me. Oh, yeah, that's the one I got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. oh yes. Omni X 1 and 2 from Tim Dale have VPN patches. Rocky Mountain Sound, that's Jason Schopfer, did Northern Lights, Northern Impact. They both have, I mean, all of the libraries for Omnisphere have some BPM patches in them because we all love the rhythmic things you can play and you get this really cool rhythmic There are so many features yeah. and uh, like there, there is a, a plugin, a built-in plugin that I like so much into uh, Unify. There's a pump house. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, uh, see, I, I don't like describing it that way, but see it as a, not a replica, but a, another take at the LFO tool thing, yeah. just for volume. And uh, you can draw your own curve exactly the same. You can just set a, a, a yeah. timing, you know, a, a syncing timing really quickly. It takes like 10 seconds. Yeah. Just, uh, and uh, I love the way it integrates because each and every single time you strike a key, this thing's resets. Yeah. So it's going to be spot on in terms of timing every yeah. single time you hit a key on a keyboard. So it's, it's really cool. Yeah. If you're using a DAW, you want to have it running because that way it's sending clock information because some things like BPM or the, not BPM, but, but uh, Pump House are listening to song position. Yes. So that way they're sample accurate to song position. So if you're in your DAW, you, you want to make sure that you have it set to, what's the setting in the transport for? Oh, uh, follow host. Follow yeah. host. Follow host, yeah. And then the other setting is not the quick start and stop. That's right, it's just manual start stop. Manual start and stop. And then it will be so that you, you have to have the click for a second sometimes to hear where the one is because that's pump house is following the cycle of your clock. That's right. It'll always sync to the one. And it's so, so snappy. I'm it's really, really snappy. Really, I, was, yeah. I was amazed myself I was when, was I, when I did a tryout in, the, in Logic. Yeah. Uh, so, Beef and Something Unified are really great. Thank you. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I lock instruments. A lot of people are finding that running to issues with um, I lock, e like I lock, I lock an e licensor and so on. And these kind of things, I, I'm always answering to people. You know, this kind of thing is like a long, uh, hard slog. You have to fight these issues one at a time. Yeah. But we are now fortunately getting enough uh, response to Unify that I think we, it will be reasonable for us to knock on the door of uh, companies that are using yeah. some of these tools and yeah. say, you know, we're having an issue. Can we work together to, to sort it out? Yeah, so I will say I have a lot of iLock devices mm -hmm. and I'm able to install them. I do too, and they work for <clears> So it's, yeah. you know, we, we still have to track down why it is that some people are having problems, others not. Yeah. It's, it's, a, lot, it's a struggle. Right. Also, just a real quick summary for those of you with Unify that might be having an issue with the scanner. Um, we have fixes that we're working on to take care of the, where it gets into a cycle, it gets to the same plugin name and then it goes back to the beginning and starts over again. Uh, we'll be fixing that in an update that will be coming out once we get back from the NAMM show and get it all put together. We, we know why, I, I know why it's failing now. Right, right. And I didn't before, but it, right. it's, it, again, this only affects some people. Yeah. But I understand absolutely that it's horribly maddening when it yeah. happens. We're sorry for that. We're happening. sorry for it. We're sorry for so many things. If that happens, yeah. just realize you can cancel 
go to your desktop, open up the plugin folder, and if you're on, if you hit the little plugin tab in Unify, you can actually drag your plugins into that window of Unify, and it will load them automatically. Scan them one at a time. Scan them one at a time without using that scanner. So you can bind that. You can also pull out the name of the plugin and maybe the one before and after it that you see in the window. Rescan and see if that skips the plugin that's causing it to cycle to back get, to get past the problem. Yeah. Another thing that I like, I'm, I'm telling people is, you know, all of the similar kinds of plugin aggregator tools on the market always have this plugin scanning approach, just like every DOS. So the idea is, well, oh God, I can't even get started with this thing until I scan my plugins, and it's getting stuck now. It goes to fifteen <coughs> percent and stops, and then it comes back and it stops at the same spot, and you know, people are feeling like, oh my God, I can't even use the thing. Well, first of all, it comes with four hundred patches. They play anyway, even before you've scanned anything. Right. Secondly, you don't actually have to scan all 7,000 plugins that you have. <laughs> you can say, you know what? Today, I would like to use Serum. Let me go find Serum, drag and drop. Okay, yeah. fine, now he's on the list. And yeah. I'll start using that. Yeah. You can add them one at a time as you need one them. Like one like one, yeah. Ten at a time as you need them. Yeah. You know, it's you're not locked into that scanning approach. But yeah, I... <laughs> I hear you. I feel yeah. your pain. We will fix this. <coughs> we will fix the scanner. Yeah. Clark Parker pointed out a really nice uh, fact that I think might be one of the issues. Make sure your iLock manager software is up to date. Mm -hmm. That means if you use an iLock, make sure you've got the iLock manager software. Go to iLock.com, download it, run it, and it will say we need to do a maintenance check, and it will update everything. That might fix some of these issues that you're having because part of it is. The beta testing team that we had and Shane and myself, we did all sorts of things and we didn't get to see these errors that people are talking about until Unify was out and people were having these problems. So it's very possible it could be just the manager not being up to date. It could be. There's so many factors involved and uh, you know, we, we, we figured them out one at a time. Uh, is there a way on your website to know which packs can be loaded into Unify? They can all be loaded into Unify, but you have to own the plugin that the packs are for. Um, we will make libraries in the future. We have not done this yet because Unify is like less than two weeks old where we use Omnisphere or we use Serum or we use Zebra to make a library or we use Arturia where we're using all 20 plugins to make one library. But you will need to own those plugins to load that library and it will be kind of a library plus because instead of being a library that just for one of those plugins that makes just sounds there, we can use all these synthesizers and all the samples that are in Unify to make the patches for that library in yeah. Unify. Yeah. That's wow. going to open up crazy doors for what, when you buy a serum pack in the future, it's not going to be the serum pack that you uh, have ever seen before in your life. Same for anything else we do for Omnisphere. We can enhance it with yeah. like a yeah. FM synthesis. Of with, course, you would get also the original uh, virtual instruments sure. presets on top of that. Right. You, right. You, yeah could get them separately, but uh, the Unify Plus libraries right. work this way, you know, you yeah. get these original patches and on top of that you get the, right. but the, um, the Unify patches. Yeah. The, um, um, much the, more. I was talking to the folks at um, Applied Acoustic Systems, they make a really nice, it's called a modeling uh, suite, I think it is, and about once a year it goes on half price. I bought it the last time it was on half price, I love it, it's absolutely yeah. fantastic. You know, I was talking to the president, he said a lot of, it's about half and half people who buy individual instruments per, versus getting the suite. Mm -hmm. If you get the suite, then if, if first of all, it's a really nice suite, but the next thing is when we do a library for the suite, Yeah. now all of those people who bought the whole lot, and in fact, even if you haven't, you can still use it with the um, with their player because their player will play all the different sounds. Right. Uh, this is going to really take it into new territory. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to, to mention is, you know, people have asked, well, you know, can I use my existing Plugin Guru libraries with Unify? Or with Unify? And the answer is absolutely. So yeah. if you have a library for Omnisphere, well, then you own Omnisphere. Right. Omnisphere is just a plugin. It can be used inside Unify just as a, like anything else. Right. So yes, absolutely. You can use everything you have. Yeah. And then you hit add new layer to some cool multi or patch that you have in Omnisphere. And boom, <laughs> you're into doggy park territory now where you get to just load up whatever and play. I, 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 I just like wanted to add something that I saw uh, earlier in the in the chat again about NKS support. Mm. Yes. Actually, uh, you, you mentioned that you can load the Unify, um, Unify into, uh, into Complete Control plugin. 
but also you can load config control plugin into Unify. That's very true. And actually you can load several instances of complete control into Unify. Yeah. Which expands and which actually uh, breaks the the limitations of a complete control as you know it's monotemporal. So I strongly recommend you to um, to try out that feature with Unify loading NKS patches with complete yeah. control because it's gonna open up a, a brand new world of possibilities. Yeah. And also the macros and everything. It's gonna it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, there's capabilities in Unify that make complete control. It's also the, the the case, you know, we many of us own uh, a copy of a complete you know, the complete uh, right. the software or complete <clears throat> ultimate in my mm. case. And uh, I would like to see more uh, more of, of these packages reinvented into into Unify. Right. This is the whole right. point of right. Unify. Yeah, we could for we could use native instruments complete and use massive with contact with FM eight to make one patch. So those are the possibilities that Unify opens up for us as sound designers and programmers. We haven't got there yet. <laughs> No, <laughs> we just want to you get know. it out the door. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Larry Ludwig is saying I've been having problems with Unify, where the top VST screen puts up messages that require a response, but Unify is not allowed uh, the message window to come to, to the come foreground. To the yeah, yeah. So that that's something we know about. Yes, we do. If if you want to send us a screenshot so we can verify that's what it is doing for you, um, Unify support at pluginguru.com is our tech support connection. Send us a screenshot and describe what is happening so that we can look at that and um, make sure that we cover it with our updates. Uh, we can't fix stuff if we don't know about them. That's right. So if you have issues, if you have a few requests of things, I saw someone talking about internal updating for Unify, for it can update itself without downloading things. That's definitely something we want to look at. Uh, but it takes a while to get there. It takes writing code and all sorts of things. And, and a lot of testing. Yes, and the, the one person on this bench that writes code out of the three of us is only <laughs> him. <laughs> so it, it's, gonna, it's, it's not impossible. <laughs> Thank you. Hands together, head bowed. Um, we're going to wrap this up. We have to be at the floor in about an hour or less, and it's just an insane slog to get there. Shout out to Chris. We have our own personal driver as of last night that's going to pick oh, us up. Um, it's been said before that will there be an upgrade path of sorts? Definitely. We have all sorts of updates to the flow, the interface. It's rough on edges for sure. Yeah, no, but I think what he's asking is there will be, there will be an upgrade path. And yes, it will be cheaper oh, oh, for, for you for, to get pro yes. if you get Unify first. Yes, yes. So, yes, absolutely. We're not going to punish people by saying, oh, no. well, you didn't, you know, yeah. now no. we've got this pro. New users can buy it for, you know, 149 But you know, people who've been loyal to us for all this time. Sorry, yes. you got to pay one eighty nine or God knows whatever yeah. it's going to be. We yeah. won't do that. No, no, no. It will be a fair upgrade path that will make you happy. Yes. And we will be happy too because we can continue to pay our house bills and our living fees and all that kind of stuff to keep going. And uh, yeah, no, it's it, we're not going to make it a separate product that you have to buy full price for. We we would not do that to you guys. Never, never have, never will. Um, Oh, I've done that. <laughs> Beautiful piano using contact guru sampler and Valhalla. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's <laughs> that's, that's the spirit. Man. That's right. That's the spirit. Yeah. You're at the doggy park now. So okay. Um, thank you so much for hanging with us on this very early uh, impromptu. Well, not impromptu because we planned it. We didn't just like you, you planned it. We yeah. planned it. We made it happen. <laughs> yeah. But thank you for joining us. And if you're at the Nam show, um, eleven thousand nine hundred is the Ilio booth. Um, we're facing Universal Audio, so find us. One of us will be there. We've got these cool white lab coats that have Unify low on the back. Oh, we don't have one to show us. No, no they're at the show. Yeah, well, I'm also the NAM show, so yeah. far. Well, the newsletter I sent out last night has a picture of you guys at the station. Oh, good. Talking with the whole thing going on. So, um, uh, yeah. If yeah. you check the, some of the videos, you will see the coats as yes, well. Yes, you'll so. see the coats. We're wearing those when we're working at the booth, so we have a little... You can tell where we were at. Well... Um, thank you so much for all you guys watching. How many people are here watching? Oh, cool. We're up to 100. Thank you so much. Be well. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Um, we'll be back at another live stream next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Unify. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Take care. Bye. Now I have to go turn off the video recorder. So <laughs> thanks again. <laughs> Shane, any last words? 
No. Okay. <laughs> That's the perfect NAM response. My brain is fried. Thank you. <laughs> Good night.